is the firm weekend edition Saturdays. And I'd like to say thank you for letting me take time off. And although it wasn't longer than I expected, uh, today's topic is finding the time to work out. And a lot of times that's not easy for me. And I try to work out five to six days a week. But I'm lucky if I could do it maybe three or four days a week. And with what I'm dealing with and what I have to do in my day and how I feel, you know, how I feel health-wise is also important. My advice is find the time to work out. And it doesn't have to be the firm or anybody or anything else. It could be a workout. When I was losing weight, the only time I had was to walk. But then again, there, there was a disadvantages and disadvantages. And the, the biggest disadvantage was time. And, other, and, to, and the other main advantage was the incumbent, incumbent, incumbent weather. And... You know, find the time to do a workout that you're comfortable with that fits your needs. And time, a workout schedule takes a lot of time. And that's just not the rotation workout, the workout I'll, I'll be doing soon, but also any workout. And finding the time, which is not easy, and it's not easy for me. Some days I'm just lucky to get one workout in. And... The time and the commitment and patience that, that it brings with finding the time. Find the time, you know, whether it's in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, and try to do it as early as possible. And sometimes when I work out in the evening, it gives me a benefit for the next day. And I try to work out as early as possible, but a lot of times... I'm not so lucky and I and and think about the time that you have and change your workouts around you know when the weather gets warm I'm not also thinking about doing my rotation workout but also infuse it with with walking because the weather's going to be nice and the weather's starting to get nice here it's it's right in the spring, but uh, find the time to work out, and that is something you need to do. And it doesn't have to be a workout where you 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 have to go to the gym or buy some fancy equipment. And the equipment I have is my weight set and that and my stepper, and there's some other things I like to get, but in the future the that will, that will, you know, but right now it's not in the budget. Uh, finding the time is the best time. And it doesn't have to be every day at a certain time. Some days I work out in the afternoon. Some days I work out in the evenings after, between, after supper, before I go to bed. So find the time. Find the time that you're comfortable with. And it doesn't have to be anything fancy or you know, and and enjoy your day off. And if you miss a workout, do it on your day off. And because that, sometimes I have to catch up on working out on my days off. And being bipolar, it, it, it also affects your moods. And it sometimes affects my moods and how I feel that day. So find the time and find and find out what will work for you. You know, what is in your favor and find a workout that you're comfortable with and you know they always say consult a physician before you start any program and you know that that saying they've been saying that for years they've been saying it for a long time but find the time and find a workout that works for you you know something that you're going to enjoy doing again and again and time is motivation time because I, 
like I said, I, I can't always get a workout in on some days because of, you know, other time restrictions and personal issues. But when you work out, find the time and make the time. So this has been the Saturday edition of the Firm Weekends, and I will see you next weekend with a with a new topic on on working out. Now stay tuned Monday for the eBay Monday show, and I will bring you that show. I will be here to do, do another Monday show. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and enjoy your weekend, and I will see you on Monday. Bye-bye for now.